What's going on guys? Thank you for checking out Jimbo Time. In today's video, we have a special video out. We are actually riding my brother's 2017 FC6R. We're actually not out on the Harley Davidson Sportster 1200 of mine today's. My brother was nice enough to let me go ahead and take his brand new motorcycle. This is his first bike he's ever owned. Um, this is the first time I've actually ever went out and really went for a ride on the bike. I'm going to be doing a review of the bike today, trying to compare it to my uh, 2018 Harley-Davidson Sportster 1200 Custom that I have. I haven't really ridden um, a lot of sport bikes before. Um, I've ridden one other bike besides my bike, and it was that... 2000 something Ninja 6R so don't have a lot of experience riding these types of motorcycles compared to um, my cruiser that I'm used to when he originally got the bike it had 256 miles on it as it sits right now it has 913 miles on it so he's put a couple hundred miles on it since he owned it uh, he's been riding around getting really used and getting comfortable to the bike he absolutely loves this thing so that's why I was like okay you gotta let me take it out for a ride and let me see what you're talking about uh, the one thing I can say right off the back that I like about it a lot is for a sport bike um, the, your position your city to upright which I do like a lot it's not really aggressive where it has you leaned over on the tank a bunch this is more of a relaxed um, upright position for a uh, 600 cc bike so we're gonna go ahead and start it up here so currently it does have the stock exhaust on it which on this bike it's actually um, behind my uh, right foot on the foot peg so it is a little quiet right now as it sits but it still sounds good and when she gets up on rpms you can hear what she sounds like so as you can see, she does purr, um, which is really nice. So we're going to go around, we're going to do a couple little laps in the parking lot before we head out onto the main road, just try and get accustomed to this bike as best as we can before we head out. Currently we are at uh, M McGowan Elementary. Uh, we're in the parking lot of McGowan Elementary. This is where I usually go to to shoot a lot of my uh, videos just because it's this big parking lot and uh, it's open. Uh, I actually went to uh, school. I did my first, I think it was like grade one through grade three here. And then I ended up getting switched to a, a different school. But this is where I first started out at uh, with like education and stuff like that. And so far for my videos I've really been trying to teach people uh, about motorcycles the different types of motorcycles classes safety um, how to maneuver and how to handle on a motorcycle so I thought it would just be kind of like fitting like you know this is where I started out uh, going to school and this is where you guys in a sense are starting out learning the basics and actually how to ride a motorcycle with me so so far I cannot believe how much lighter this bike is compared to my Sportster. Uh, the center of gravity is different. On, again, on this bike, you're up a lot higher, so the center of gravity is up more. Versus on my uh, Sportster, you sit a lot lower to the ground, so the center of gravity on that is a lot lower. Uh, this bike does get up and go compared to my, uh, my Sportster, so I'm actually going to have to be a little careful and watch myself when it comes to me applying throttle while riding this thing today because like I said I do not have a lot of experience on this bike and if you twist it too much like so it just wants to pull and go but that being said we're gonna head on out go for a short little cruise really 
surprised today that I was actually able to come out and actually do a little bit of riding. The weather was really poopy this morning. It was raining all day and I wasn't sure if it was the roads were going to dry up and be in a nice enough condition for me to go out and ride. So right there is something I just noticed. Um, again, I noticed, uh, I mentioned in one of my previous videos that my Harley Davidson, my Sportster, I'm just going to refer to it as my Sportster. My Sportster has built-in lean detection, so when you apply the turn signal and you make a turn on the bike, the bike actually notices where it can feel the bike leaning, and then once you complete the turn, it'll automatically turn itself off, versus this bike, you uh, click your direction that you want to use the turn signal on, and then you actually have to manual cancel it by pushing in that button. So I'm sure there's going to be a couple times throughout this video that I forget to turn the turn signal off as I'm done making a turn. So yeah, I do be able to do a little pull for you guys here. So as you can see, this thing can get up and move when it wants to. And that's what I cannot believe about this bike being in the 600 cc class of a sport bike for a motorcycle this thing is quick like there are fast bikes which have like high i don't know let's say high top speeds and then there are quick bikes this bike is quick by all means if you just give it a little bit of throttle even with me being in third gear see it just wants to pull you and propel you forward. This bike is really smooth. It handles really well. Again, with it being so light and with the center of gravity being more upright, um, you're able to handle and maneuver this bike almost effortlessly. When it comes to applying brake pressure, the front and rear brakes are perfect. Uh, you're able to stop very quickly, which is very important. Even turning from a, a still position is very simple and very easy on this bike. One thing I am still learning how to do myself on this bike is knowing when to shift. Um, my Sportster has a built-in gear indicator with the uh, tachometers where you can see the engine's revs, like what the engine's RPMs are at. On his bike, it actually has a digital um, speedometer along with a uh, dial tachometer. And there is no gear indicator on the bike. So you really just, it's off of feel, off of sound, and really basically off of what the engine revs are to know what gear you're in and when you should be shifting. I did speak with my brother uh, shortly before heading out, and he said he typically tries to ride around 4,000 RPMs. That at least I have some idea of what to base myself when it comes to gearing you know at least if you're you're cruising around if you're if you're getting on the bike your rpms are obviously going to be uh, much higher than 4000 rpms i'm gonna let this guy you can go ahead go ahead let that guy go ahead in front of me just because he's in a truck and it's bigger than me not that I'd want him to, but if he were to hit me, 
it would not feel good. Check yet, the camera is still recording. See if I'm able to balance. Well, oh, see, I forgot to turn the turn signals off again. I'm gonna head out this way. Again, I just cannot believe how smooth and how fast this thing accelerates. We seem to be doing for, uh, pretty decent so far too. It comes to gear. I'm in third gear right now. I was doing about 30, so it's not, well, 30, 40, that's not, it's about what my uh, Sportster does. I know there's more gear in the bike than that, but, well, <laughs> neutral. That's the one thing where it's like, if you don't own a pair of motorcycle riding boots, I would recommend getting some. Uh, it makes riding a whole lot easier, makes shifting a whole lot easier. I'm wearing tennis shoes right now, which I do not recommend. Um, I tried riding this thing earlier with my riding boots on, and they're just, they were too bulky for the pegs. I wasn't able to get them um, comfortably on the foot pegs and be able to get my foot underneath the shifter and be able to shift the bike. thing stops on a dime it picks up and goes like a rocket this is it's a lot different it's a lot different it's it's honestly it's scarier like the potential that this bike has the potential that it can do when the rider like learns this bike and like masters this bike like there, I'm sure there's going to be faster bikes out there. There are definitely faster bikes out there. This is only a 600cc bike, but still, this bike is fast. It is quick. It just gets up and goes. Tell you what, it definitely takes a certain type of individual to own and ride a bike like this. I don't think I could own a bike like this and ride it responsibly. I would get in too much trouble. This thing is a lot of fun. It's quick. And I feel like, I don't know, there's a time and a place to be stupid, but I feel like I would probably be a little too stupid on it and potentially hurt myself, hurt somebody else or, um, get some tickets now unfortunately it does look and feel like it's gonna start raining here soon so I think we're gonna have to wrap things up here for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed everything that you saw today it's been a blast getting to ride this uh, FC6R Josh Thank you so much for letting me take out your bike. You have an amazing bike. I absolutely love this thing. I need to get something like this, but I don't need to get something like this at the same time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, uh, please like and comment on the video. It does help. I want to start engaging with you guys, answering questions that you guys might have um, regarding either street bike stuff, uh, dirt bike stuff. Just want to start interacting with you guys a little bit more if possible. Anyhow, thank you guys for checking out the video. It's been Jimbo time. Peace.